This is Brother Michael King. Welcome you to another another edition here of King's Classics Vintage Dodge Works video. And uh, we've had a lot going on in the past few weeks. Please excuse us for not being uh, so faithful to YouTube to put out uh, content. And uh, we hope this will uh, fill in a little bit. So what we've got, we've got a Jeep 4.0, 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's my son's vehicle. And uh, I'm not gonna show you the vehicle or the process. There's many videos showing you the ins and outs of replacing the pistons and all that. Uh, I did have an interesting thing on the way I press my pins, uh, is I use a mini ductor on the rod, make a rod heater. Uh, I set up a fixture out of wood to uh, hold the piston fixture for the piston uh, and a screw to set the pin depth, uh, how far the pin comes out so you can center the pin. Uh, and that's pretty nominal stuff. But, uh, and if you, if you got a request, if you want to request to see that, we'll, we'll press one for you. I'll press, I've got plenty of pistons. We'll press one and, and we'll put it back on and show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, we had a noise. My son had a noise and I told him, I said, I believe it's a cracked piston. And so be careful, uh, when it uh, gets worse, we'll tear it down. So anyway, he took off to Kentucky. He took off 200 miles to, with his, to see his girlfriend in Kentucky. So, amen. Uh, anyway, he traveled 200 miles while he was up there. This happened. And so he drove around a couple of days. He called me and said, Dad, he said, this thing's making a, it's making a pretty loud rattling noise. I said, well, do you, is it driving? He said, yeah, is it smooth? He said, it's pretty smooth, but it's noisy. I said, well, just take it easy, take your time, and uh, let me know. I mean, we got AAA. Uh, I've got the 200 mile race, so we'll tow it if we have to. But anyway, he drove that thing all the way. He drove it a couple of days there, uh, put miles on in that community, plus 200 miles coming back. So he said, uh, it sounds bad, Dad. He said, I don't think it's going to be fixed. And I said, well, we'll get the oil pan off and we'll see. So we got it on the lift, pulled the oil pan, and this skirt was laying in the pan. And uh, I looked at the cylinder in the bottom. You can uh, visually look at the cylinder, the cylinder walls, and the cylinder wall looked good. I said, well, I, you know, it, I don't know how, but it survived. And so <clears throat> I um, it, tore it down. Of course, disassemble it, pull the exhaust, uh, the intake manifold, uh, uh, all the front of the motor off and then pull the cylinder head off punch the pistons out well we found four four pistons were bad one was real bad and uh then we had a crack here i don't know if you can see that and here and he goes all the way to the skirt. Well, anyway, there's four, four that were cracked like that. And so I sit in, I ordered everything up. Uh, pistons, seal power pistons, seal power, uh, molly rings, st all standard. Uh, seal power, uh, standard bearings. Uh, the bearings, you get into the bearings, uh, these are good. Uh, but I didn't like how they came out of the shell. They just fell out, and I said, well, I don't like that. And we're not going to bend them. I mean, you could probably put some flex in it where it'll stick in the rod cap and the rod. But uh, these are uh, uh, silicone aluminum factory bearings. And so we put the tri-metal uh, seal power standard bearings in. <coughs> the last two, I've done three of these. I've done a 98, uh, 2004 model. And uh, those had one under bearings. Uh, these were all standard, so we blessed there. And so we used Felpro gaskets. Uh, the head gasket was a little pricey because it was the multi-plate version. And, uh, but other than that, everything was pretty normal. Uh, of course, we put a new timing set on it while we was there, new water pump and all that. But, uh, and, but uh, in order, another thing I was wanting to show you <coughs> was what I used to polish the crankshaft and of course, you know, uh, we got 600 grit, uh, 1,000 grit, 
And then I finished off with 1500. And of course, you wrap this onto the crankshaft, uh, bind it onto the crankshaft and one sheet, go to your Ace Hardware, your local hardware, get one sheet, of, one sheet of 600, one sheet of 1000, and one sheet of 1500. And, it, and you can do it with one little piece per uh, journal. If they're real bad, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I recommend taking the crank out and having it turn. But our crank was very good. Uh, of course, when you polish it, it takes uh, the bearing material that is embedded into the crankshaft. Uh, it turned out real good. Of course, use a, a flat, uh, a flat uh, shoelace <coughs> is what I've always used in the car. Uh, when I send them out to the machine shop and have them polished, when I bounce the crankshaft, I have them polished. Uh, but anyway, this is what I use. Uh, this you can buy at Walmart. I think they were two dollars for that. Uh, so total cost for time we got the oil, the oil filter, uh, uh, the uh, uh, assembly lube, uh, gaskets, everything that went to it is around six hundred some, a little over six hundred dollars. It's well worth it. You can't buy a vehicle for that. This is a pretty nice vehicle he's got. My son's got. And so we put him back on the road. It took uh, seven, eight, nine days. Nine days of time we got all the correct parts in, waiting on parts, and uh, of course, life. And uh, so uh, that wasn't too bad, I don't guess. Uh, but anyway, it turned out a good job. Quiet as a mouse, ready to put another 100,000 on it. And I hope he has a fun time doing it. But anyway, until the next time, may the Lord bless you. It's a pretty short hit. The subscribe, share, the comment. Uh, what is the other one? Oh, the like button. Amen. All that's free. <laughs> All of it's free. And so now, until next time, may the Lord bless you. I pray.